It's that time again. It's Saturday, and that means only one thing. It is Electronics Liquidation Pout Video Day. So today, I'm excited about this one. Wait till you hear about this. Total MSRP, if everything is brand new for Amazon.com, if it was brand new, the total MSRP is $2,175. Not bad, right? Over $2,000 for three very large boxes full of electronics and goodies. Here's the kicker. I only paid. Includes the price, 10% premium, and tax was $108. Yeah. <laughs> I got this thing for like around like 4% between 4 and 5 it was under 5% like 4. Point, like 75% some 4% of MSRP. This is one of the cheapest ones I think I've ever have received. So I'm super excited about this. I think the reason why it went so cheap was because it was, it was actually labeled electronics and accessories. So I think that's why some people might have been scared to buy this one because of the word accessories on it. But with liquidations, accessories with electronics could just mean electronic accessories. You know, it could mean it could mean a whole bunch of iPhone cords, or it could mean, or it could mean a whole bunch of uh, batteries or CDs or DVDs. So I'm excited about this one. 108 bucks is all I paid for a two thousand dollar pallet yeah that's kind of crazy right that's really cheap so first box fingers crossed this one's going to be pretty much impossible to lose money on this box at only 108 dollars like there's got to be some good money to be made in this box so first box Looks pretty good. Looks like the normal kind of electronics boxes that I usually get, but it was electronics and accessories. So they just scared a lot of people away. Doesn't scare me though, because I know how liquidations work. So first thing, we got an LG Ultra Slim Portable DVD Writer. That's actually not that bad of an item. It sounds very, very loose in there. I'm gonna check it out. See, just to see what it looks like. It's, it's been used. It is not new. We've got some, some like scratches on top of it. Here's the cord for it. So I mean, I'll try this out. See if it works or not. And if it works just fine, then uh, yeah, I'll sell it. We have this item right here. Let's see if I can get my phone to pull it up. The barcode's been covered up so I can't go by the barcode. Let me see, I'm gonna use the Amazon Sellers app. And the Amazon sticker starting throwing off a little bit. Take out the Amazon Warehouse Deal sticker. There it goes. So it sells, wow. So it sells new on Amazon for $76.30. Wow. That's, I thought it was like maybe like 30, 40 bucks. New condition, also this is used. So it'll probably go for about half of the new price. So I'm, I'm guessing this is probably gonna be about, I'm gonna say about $35. If it works and it's used. That's not bad, first item is not bad. We have an, this is some accessories. Elmer's Color Slime Kit. <laughs> okay, I've never seen this. A slime kit. Appears to be new though. Everything's still like all the balls are full, so man, like, ten bucks in this maybe in that range. Slime kit. Okay. Let's see. We got a gaming mouse, Cozair Gaming M65 Pro RGB. That looks kind of fancy. As long as it's in there though. And it was a bait and switch and returned a different one. That's the right one. 
doesn't even look huge. The packaging on it's kind of beat up, but the mouse actually looks pretty pretty good shape. So this thing sells new on Amazon for $62.99. So the packaging on it's not factory still has been opened up, so I'd say it's at least it's at least half price still. Still probably good 30 bucks right there. Let's see, what is this? Oh, I know what it is. It's like this part here fold up to a box and that's the lid for it. You'd use this thing for records or for any kind of thing. It's like five bucks on that. And then we've got Xbox 360, the Spiderwick Chronicles. So that is an older PS, PS, Xbox 360 game. They can't be much more like what? Eight, ten dollars at the most, I bet. Still sellable. Oh, we got iPhone glass screen. Most of the stuff just, just gets donated. Smiling Apple Watch case. This stuff's very hard to sell. Let me see what a smiling Apple Watch case looks like. There's no smile on it. Okay. It's supposed to be a smile Apple Watch. It's just a clear case. Okay. Next, we've got... Wow, that is an old connector from a desktop PC to an old printer. That's like the 64, like, 32, 64-pin connector. Yeah, that's just going to be donation stack. That's going to be a hard sell right there. Wow, that's a blinged out case. Look at that thing. Bling, bling. It's for the S10. It looks like for the Galaxy S10 Lite. Ten bucks on that. It's still sealed. Professional power supply. What we got? Oh, just a replacement power supply. These I usually end up selling like on eBay depending on the voltage and stuff, but depending on price, maybe as high as $10 on that. You got a big box right here. Metal monitor stand black. So here's a stand for computer monitor. Yeah. That'd be about, honestly, probably about $15 on that. It's Amazon branded monitor stand. Let's see, another Xbox 360 game. Old games, where's the new games? It's in there. Star Trek, probably like what? 10 bucks used on it. Another game, or a case with Xbox 360 Grand Theft Auto 5. Two discs, disc one is installed, disc two is play, has both of them. Maybe like as high as $10 on that. I'm just guesstimating those prices. Sport Bluetooth headphone. Yeah, it looks it looks new. It's just it's kind of cheap. You know, but I do make my own uh mystery box that I sell for $40 ship. So some of these things that you see in these Videos will end up in my mystery boxes like things like this will be in the mystery box the games I might even throw in stuff like you know like this into That was a weird sound Did you hear that My TV sets off my sound bars off Something from this corner of my office made some weird electronic hum click weird noise. I might even throw in stuff like you know, like this into. I might even throw in stuff like you know, like this into. I might even throw in stuff like you know, like this into. That was kind of weird. If you heard that, comment down below. What was that? I'm here by myself. There's nothing here. There's nothing turned on. That was freaky. But, uh... That was weird. 
I'm kind of interested to go back through and edit this video, see if my camera caught that noise. That was strange. I don't know. They say ghosts sometimes use like radio waves, electronic signals to communicate. What was that? Was that a ghost? Is my house haunted? I don't know. That was weird though. That was very weird. Okay, let's get back on the vibe. Oh yeah, I was just saying, like some of these things will end up in my mystery boxes, you know, things like games. The DVD writer I'll probably throw into I you know, if if I can't sell these things, then lots of times I just load up my uh, mystery boxes with really good stuff. Oh, here's the USB-C cord, I think is what it's called. Yeah, USB-C. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we have a tape player for your car, for your phone. About five bucks on that. Accessory handset, we've seen this thing a lot on this channel. I sell for about 12 bucks. Interest, address, and password logbook. Huh. It's just an old, it says it retails for $7.95, which means I sell for about five bucks. Brand new, about five bucks on that. Oh, we have a headlamp. Goes right here so you can see at night. About 15 bucks on that. Oh, we got a Timex watch, here we go. Some of this stuff can get not expensive, but it can be some nice stuff. It needs a new battery. Battery's dead. Watch is brand new. It's still factory tied down onto the display. That's nice. Let's see how much thing cost. It retails. Dang. This retails on Amazon. It sells for $62. It has a super low rank on, which means it sells super fast. $62. So I'll probably ask just to move it quicker, probably like 45, 50 bucks on this, you know, knock off like 20% of retail just to move it quicker. That's nice. It's brand new in, in the package, still factory tied down. $60 watch, but you know, I'll sell it for less than that. Oh, we got a iPhone stand. Like, oh, it's a public donation stack on that. Last thing, first box, this fell out of it. I don't know. Let me box this stuff up and we'll be right back with the next box. Here we go, box number two. It looks interesting. Oh, it's kind of heavy. So first thing on top, I'm seeing two CDs. We've got one CD of Van Morrison. It's too late to stop now. So CD's like five bucks. CD of the Bottom Line Archive, Jack, Bruce, and Friends. As high as five bucks. What is this? iCraze Laptop Desk. What is this? Uh... Oh, okay, there's a built-in fan on this piece. So literally it's just a little platform to put your laptop up a little bit higher for you. Okay, I guess. Whatever you say, I'm sure somebody out there wants to buy it. Okay, how's this thing close again? Open it up once, you never get it shut the same way again. So I don't know about this thing. Maybe like 20 bucks on it or so. I I craze laptop desk. I don't know anything about this thing. Okay, done filling with it. Next, we just have a three ring binder. That, that donation stack. We've got a couple records in here. Let's do some records. Oh, cool, cool. Yes. Already liking this. So, first record. We've got Les Claypool. 
the Lennon Delirium South of Reality. So it looks like it's a collaboration between Les Claypool and one of the Lennon boys. And maybe like Julian Lennon or which Lennon? It doesn't really say, but I'm guessing probably like Julian Lennon. But yeah, here's Les Claypool. If you're a fan of Primus, if you remember the band Primus, of course, they're still around, kind of. Les, Coop, Les, Cl Les Claypool is the lead singer and bass player in Primus. He's probably one of the best bass players in the world. That's no joke. The dude can play a bass. He's like, he's like the king of slap bass. Yeah, I'll be keeping this record. Next, we've got Kiss Unmasked. 180 gram audiophile vinyl, first US vinyl pressing since 1985. That is cool. I'll be keeping this one also. Kiss Unmasked. Oh, it's in fabulous shape. Yeah, look, look at the uh, cover art on this record. That's neat. I like that. Kiss Unmasked. So, more likely, I'll be keeping this. Almost guarantee I will. But everything, obviously, you can make offers on things, but things I want to keep, yeah, yeah. Next, we got Lord Pure Heroin. Oh, this is the one that has a song, Royals, on it. Uh, yeah, that song was popular a couple years ago, I think. 2013, like five years ago, six years ago, it's popular. But Lord, this is probably $15 ship, more likely. Most of the records I can sell for $15 ship because to ship a... Uh, Record is super cheap. Doesn't cost much to ship a record. And then next we got the Black Crows. Shake your money maker. It says that's cool. Probably fifty dollars shipped on the Black Crows. I think it's all the records in this one. We got some good stuff in this box though. We have a crunched Scott Thermal laminator. Very crunched box. This thing's very. Yeah, a little bit better. About 15 bucks on that. Let's see. We've got one of these open package item, Master Lock Safe Space. That's about a $10 bill on that. It's been opened up, so it's probably been used. Uh, might have to crack the combination. About 10 bucks on that. Xbox One game. There we go. Not factory sealed, it's just an Amazon poly bag. It's not a factory seal on it. Is it in there? Yes. Is there any code showing? No. I'm not sure how much the thing sells for. I've never sold this game. And I'm kind of curious. It like sells new for 28 bucks new. So used might be like 12, 12 bucks or so, I bet. In that range. So we got some DVDs. The other side of the mirror, Bob Dylan. Like a music DVD, all there. Case is a little bit damaged case on it, but it's all good. Probably about 10 bucks on that. We got Il Devo at the Coliseum. The front cover of this thing, like the little see-through cover is missing, but the, the actual cover's still there. The disc is in it. It's taped shut to hold the, to hold the cover on. That'd probably be like a donation stack, more than likely. Oh, he's got some loose Sharpies in here. I'll be keeping these. We've got Xbox wireless controller. It's been retaped, but it is not factory sealed. I'm just cutting the retape job. Oh, that's cool. This is some, this is some kind of like a special edition one. On it, it says Sentinel. Well, that's neat. It's like a special design one. So I have to look that thing up. That's probably going to be, I think most of the controllers you use are like, what, like 40 bucks or so. So this one is like a special one that might be like 50. It'll be like 40 to 50 bucks in that range. Here's another watch. Another new watch. Ooh, a US Polo. Has the watch box for it. US Polo. Ooh, that's nice looking. That's really nice. I like that. 
That one looks super nice. Let me put the paper on back on top of it. It sells new for a whole $25. That'll be more than that. It looks really nice. It looks like a really nice watch, but I'll probably try to get about 20 bucks for it in that range. Probably try to sell this thing locally because uh, I'll get more for it that way. I want to pay for shipping and all that stuff. But yeah, it's nice. Let's see. Oh, we got an anchor, iPhone charging cord. Band is called Discharge Decontrol the Singles. About oh, five bucks on that. Oh, cool. We got another Queen Greatest Hits one and two. Open. One disc, two disc. The booklet and the third disc. That's nice. This thing is like in immaculate condition. We got the Queen Greatest Hits. Actually, Greatest Hits 1, 2, and 3. This is a complete Queen Greatest Hits set. So this sells new on Amazon for 25 Actually, with shipping, it is $29.95 shipped on Amazon. So if it's pretty much $30 shipped brand new for Amazon, used condition, that's probably at least 15 bucks right there, I bet. Next we got... Shania. Not fighter seal has just been polybagged by Amazon. Oh. There we go. Shania. Still the one live from Vegas. I think she's doing a Vegas show this year, maybe last year. It's in there. Shania. That's probably a good 10 bucks a bit. Let's see. We used to have a charging cord, $12 handset, glass, iPhone case, 10 bucks on that. Then this thing is a USB digital microscope. Oh, okay, so plugs into your computer. And it literally, it's like a microscope. That's kind of different. I have to look up the price on that. I'm not too sure. Oh, just a iPhone case. Like 10 bucks. Another case for a phone. Like 10 bucks on most, most cases. Five of they're kind of junky. These have some weird, I don't know what's in there. Little gold things. We have a horn for a Vigo, looks like. Maybe ten. Oh, maybe like ten bucks or so. Maybe three things left in this box. Glass. Oh, it's just a phone case and a USB cable. Is there box number two? We got one box to go. Third and final one. Doesn't look bad, honestly. Doesn't look bad at all. Add a little bit of weight to it. Let's see, plot this thing first. We have a Lexmark. Was this computer or printer ink or something? Yeah, it's uh, Lexmark Computer Ink. Can't tell right now if it's new or used. Not 100% sure. But, yeah. Computer Ink. Then we have, oh, just... Looks like it's already been used. Invisible Shield case, but there's no case in it. Oh, we have a very, very long iPhone cord. Oh, we have a Timex, looks like a women's watch. Oh, 
That's nice. That looks really nice. So much thing sells for. It sells new for $32. It's not bad. So I'll probably try to get about 25 bucks out of it. You know, like 20% less than uh, retail. And then we got computer paper. I actually just donated a whole bunch of computer paper. I had way too much. And we have Dell. I think I got this in my last pallet I bought. I got, I think I got this exact same Dell DVD. USB DVD drive. With plain burnt software. Yeah, I did. I think I got this in my last liquidation pallet from last week. I think I did. Or maybe I'm just dreaming that. But I think I did. So this thing sells new on Amazon. It's pulling up everything but this. But I don't know. Like 30 bucks or so. Hewlett Packard data cartridge. This is not something I usually get. I have no way to read this thing to see if it's new or used. But we have a data cartridge. You'll get this this kind of thing very often in liquidation pallets. Very often. Oh, we got a Razer Death Adder Elite Mouse. These always sell very, very quickly. New or used, they move quick. It's in there. It's new for 40 bucks. So, an open package item, like a good $25, it'll, it'll move like that. Little tiny iPhone uh, headphone adapter, so you can use your headphones with your iPhone. Okay. Screen protector. What's this? Sony Extra Bass. Little Bluetooth speaker. I've got this one in the past, and yeah, there's there's not much bass to it because it's so small. So I don't really know why they advertise it as extra bass because it doesn't really have very much bass to it. I think it's uh, what's the price on this? Of course, I pulled it up on Amazon. It pulls up everything but this. So it's probably like good, like what 25, 30 bucks a bit. We have. A watch box. We actually have several watch boxes right here. There's like four or five of them. Four of them. Watch box. Might be the same thing. Watch box. Not sure that's a watch or not. I think it's all the watches. Yeah, see what this first one looks like. Oh, I see why it got liquidated. The watch is fine. It looks new, but the box is damaged. The actual like wooden box parts damaged. U.S. Polo watch. It's a nice watch though. Sells new for nineteen ninety nine. That's probably about ten bucks on that. Not not very much. I tend to put a lot of the uh, watches into my mystery boxes. Like this, probably go into a mystery box. The watches probably go into mystery boxes. The ones that I sell, I usually try to put a lot of uh, gadgets in it and any electronics in them, you know. What's this? The brand is My Mati. Enjoy your music. This is like a little iPod thing. And it is. It's a little iPod that the screen's cracked on it. I'm not sure this has much value to it with that cracked screen. Never heard of the brand. I had to look this thing up, research it, update below with the prices on this. My Mati, something like that. So here's two more watches. This one is US Polo also. All these watches are probably gonna be about like 25, 30 bucks a piece. Ooh, that one's, that one's nice too. Got that one. That one's taped shut. Ooh, that one's really nice. That one's like a lady's watch. Let's see some prices. I've never seen this one. This one's $21.16. So, like 15 bucks on that one. 
this barcode's covered up. So it's probably gonna be about 15 bucks on each, each one of these, these watches. But there's a good possibility I'll probably put all these watches into mystery boxes that I sell, more than likely. You know, these are nice little things to get out of your mystery box, kind of like, you know, your big piece out of the mystery box. Here's another watch. This one looks like a G-Shock though. This one's got a little bit more value to it. This thing has been full of watches. Timex Expedition Shock. It's like Woodland Camouflage Watch. It's actually ultra cool. This one sells new for $52.08. So, oh, plus 10 in shipping. So it's pretty much like a $60 watch. I'll probably try to ask like $45 for it. Timex Men's T49976 Expedition Base Shock Green Camo Resin Watch. Nice. So yeah, about like $45. Or it'll go into a mystery box. And this will be like a big item out of the mystery box. Oh, we have a uh, iPhone charging case. Oh no, it's a fast charger. It's to charge the iPhone. 15 bucks on that. I usually, most of my uh, wireless chargers, they usually sell for like $15. Wow, we have an entire box of, of envelopes. There's probably like a thousand in there. Um. Stuff like, stuff like this is very, very hard to sell. You have to find somebody who wants to buy. Okay, there's 500 in here. 500 at number 10 at double window security envelopes. I'll probably try to get like 20 bucks out of the whole box. Try. Another iPhone case, about 10 bucks on that. Look, it looks like a knockoff OtterBox case. It's purple. Okay. And another watch. My goodness, how many watches have been in this pallet? That's a lot of watches. Which is fine. I mean, I'm, I'm good with that. It looks nice. Another Timex watch. Brand new. A brown leather band on it. This watch sells new for $49.99. So I'll probably try to sell for about 40 bucks or so in that range. That's another really nice watch. Just... The watches in this palette alone have paid for this palette probably double my price I paid for it at least in just watches. But we have a wireless charger for like your uh, Apple Watch or your like Samsung watches. About 10 bucks on that. Another Xbox One wireless controller. And it is the blue one that's on the cover of it. Probably good, what, 30, 35 bucks, I bet? Then we've got Hatchbox. Oh, looks like a 3D printer filament. And it is. Brand is Hatchbox, still factory sealed. This sells new for $19.99. So, uh, the way this thing, you know, like, I, I probably sell for like 10 bucks, you know, plus shipping. Brand new spool. 3D filament, kind of like a green color. Few things left in this box, not very much. Looks like iPhone cord, Apple Lightning micro USB cord, a cheesy iPhone case with water in the case to make it float around. Another watch. The box on this one's all taped up. I'm just gonna have to pretty much destroy the box to and tape it to get it out. Oh, it's the same as the other brown leather band watch we had. I think it's like what? $15 or so. Something like that. Something like that. 20 bucks maybe. We have some kind of a motherboard. Some of these can get very hard to figure out what they go to. I always say, be careful touching these things. You're not supposed to touch these things with bare hands, really. It's 
So this is an Electrolux ES-630 dual oven. So it goes to an Electrolux like motherboard. I have to look that thing up. Almost done. We got a glass protector. iPhone 8 Plus, 7 Plus. Looks like a teal life proof case. About 20 bucks on that. Inside of this box, <laughs> we have a dog watch. It's got scratches on the face. It's really, really cheap. A dog watch. Probably just donate that more than likely. And last item in this entire thing. It says a rave power. This is probably gonna be a wireless charger for your phone or for your tablet, I bet. Oh no, it's actually Oh, it's it's a uh, six port USB wall charger. So plug into the wall, there's cord in there, you can just plug, you can charge six things at once with it. I thought it was a wireless charger. I was wrong on that. That's what we got for this. That's all three boxes. So this one was actually called electronics and accessories. There was electronics in this, but there actually was some accessory type of items that I usually don't see in electronic palettes. So it did live true to its name. All in all though, it was pretty good palette. I paid a, I only paid $108 for all this stuff. That is all I paid is $108. So I will make some pretty good profit on this pallet. It was full of lots of items that sell probably between $10 and $20. Full of a lot of items. But that adds up really fast. And I did get out some cool records I'm going to keep. The Les Claypool and the Kiss record. I'll probably be keeping those more than likely. And everything else, I'll be selling it. Making that money. Turning that profit. Flipping this pallet. Make sure you haven't already. I have a brand new YouTube channel starting up called the Franchise TV. That will be starting up here very soon. All the videos on that channel will be live. Live interaction between myself and the viewer. So direct links to Franchise TV to subscribe is below in the description box for this video. So if you have a chance, if you want to, click on it and hit that subscribe. So it'll notify you whenever I put up my first video on that channel, which is coming very soon. So stay tuned. I'll see you next time. I'm out.